From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning. Welcome back. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. It's a quiet start to your Wednesday. A little bit colder where we have seen more breaks in the clouds across portions of northeastern Oregon. And temperatures have dropped to 25 in Hermiston, 27 in Pendleton. Tri-Cities at 35 degrees. We're at 33 in Connell and 37 degrees in Yakima. The winds will pick up today. So today will be a cooler day compared to yesterday and it will be breezy at times. Now we are seeing a few breaks in the clouds right now, but you can see that edge of the thicker cloud cover moving just north of the Oregon Washington state line. Those are the thicker clouds. They will continue to increase today out ahead of our next storm system, which is currently bringing some rain and snow to portions of Southern Oregon. So the highest snow totals will obviously be in the mountains. That's where winter weather advisories in purple are in effect and also winter storm warnings in pink. So one to two feet of snow will be possible in the Cascades above 2,500 feet, three to seven inches in the Simcoe Highlands just west of Hermiston and two to four inches along the I-84 corridor. So if you plan on traveling tonight or tomorrow south and east of Pendleton, that's where you could encounter some issues four to 10 inches in the blues above 4,000 feet. As far as the lower elevations and the basin goes, elev um, accumulations rather will be very minor and I'll show you that in just a second. So we're dry this morning, we're partly cloudy, and then those clouds will be increasing throughout the day. By four and five o'clock, we're still going to be dry. Keep in mind, this computer model is showing the rain and snow moving in during the late afternoon hours. A lot of this will probably not even be reaching the ground at this time. The atmosphere needs some time to moisten up. High temperatures today will be kept down due to the cloud cover and our northerly breeze, anywhere between the upper 30s to lower 40s across the region. Now tonight, if you're heading out for dinner, there could be some light rain moving into the area and then roads could be wet as you're heading home. But most of you will probably be home from dinner by the time we start to see that rain changing over to light snow. And that'll be the case overnight, that the light snow will be falling. Temperatures will be above 32 degrees while most of this snow is falling. So that'll mean the roads will probably just end up being wet. The minor accumulations will likely be on elevated surfaces. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning rather, we will see temperatures down into the lower 30s, getting close to that 32 degree mark. How much snow are we talking? Up to an inch possible in the lower elevations, up to an inch in the Tri-Cities, Walla Walla over toward Prosser, maybe just over an inch up toward the Yakima Valley. So here's what to expect once again. Those accumulations mainly on grassy surfaces, decks, and cars. As those roads, temperatures will be very marginal, so roads will probably remain wet in the basin. However, dangerous mountain travel is expected, so be sure to check the passes overnight and during the day tomorrow. So after today, we will see those snow showers taper tomorrow afternoon, and then it's going to stay pretty chilly. Highs in the lower 40s. Yakima, 40 degrees today, upper 30s for highs tomorrow with that snow tapering off. Walla Walla and Hermiston, we only have highs in the mid and upper 30s on Thursday. We're back in the 40s by the end of the weekend into the weekend.